Okay. It would be fair to say that I own a lot of hats, but none of them are good enough for me. I want more. I want more. So that's why we're here. Needless to say, I like hats. I've always liked hats. I was raised in a culture um, where the women wore something on their heads to go out in public. Um, it typically was not a hat, but as someone who wanted to be different and wanted to show the world that I had a unique personality, I chose often to wear a hat as the something on my head, okay? To be clear, it was uh, not looked upon favorably. <laughs> and if you're not from this culture, you might be like, what are you talking about? That's crazy. It's okay, it's okay. Cultures are cultures for a reason. Anyways, so I like hats. Um, this doesn't even count, like I also have like quite a few different like head scarves and things like that. I like wearing things on my head. One of the reasons, aside from the fact that I am still kind of a part of this culture in some ways, so because of that, it's still a little bit ingrained in me to have something on my head. Also, it adds like an extra style element for someone like me who doesn't feel very stylish. But, but, I have some pretty drastic thin spots. Who knows if you'll be able to see them, okay? But I'm really uncomfortable going out in public without something on some part of my head to help hide said thin spots, okay? Okay, we've established, I hope, why I want this, all right? So, now we come to the question. Is a Gigi Pip hat worth it? Do I need one in my life? Um, do I need one in my minimalist wardrobe. Now, looking at this pile of hats that I've just thrown on the floor, I mean, I'm kind of going, maybe it's not actually as minimalist as I thought. However, I excuse basically all of those hats by saying they're in my costume wardrobe, which is for my other work. Um, these would be for my real wardrobe. I have not opened this box, to be clear. Um, I don't know if you have seen ads for Gigi Pip, but let me tell you, I have for years and I have always wanted one, and I've never taken the plunge, but today is the day for us to see if it's time for a Gigi Pip hat. Can, can one of these hats actually work in my wardrobe? Here's the thing, I want one. One singular hat that does it all, right? I want a hat that, I want a hat that can be worn in the garden, out in the woods where I'm taking photos, on photo shoots, on wedding days, when I'm taking photos or doing florals or whatever it is. Um, I don't think I'll wear these to do yard work. I'm gonna stick to my dirty ball caps for that. But anyways, um, a huge part of the look, I will say, has been inspired by people that cook over open flames. Um, I'll put up some pictures. Um, for some reason, they're always, they always look so cool and they're wearing hats. So anyways, I am, this is my first look. Folks, this is my first look. Um, so we're just going to start. These are my very first impressions. This is the Linden Boater. I got all of these hats in a size small. My head is technically an extra small, but I wasn't sure depending on like how I do my hair. Like sometimes if I have a hat, I like to do like twists, things like that. So I thought it'd be better to size up and have to add like maybe a little bit of tape or something to the inside. Um, so Linden Boater. This is in the brown color. And I'm gonna be putting up screenshots of from when I was shopping. And the thing that was really interesting to me about this one, I really like the shape overall. Um, I really wanted flat brims. So I think all of these should have flat brims. Um, and I wanted a clean edge. I don't like the wrapped edges, even though it's just a preference thing. I just don't like the way it looks. Um, so first of all, 
The felt feels surprisingly heavy. Like it feels sturdy and stiff and heavy. These are 100% wool. Um, so let's set it on. Okay, interesting. It is tighter than I expected, but also it's very round. So I can stick my fingers in on the sides. So it in some ways feels like it's not meant to go on a head. However, um, that can be changed. I can, I'm very confident, and we'll get to this later, that I'm confident in reshaping these in any way that I need. Um, so yeah, first impression of the Linden Boater. Um, I will say, I know online, this hat looked yellow, okay? It looked yellow. So I was really nervous about what this looks like in person. It reminds me of like cinnamon, like, like not a really dark cinnamon, but very much of a cinnamon color. So there's that. Wait, did I call it the Linden Boater? That's the Dahlia. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I called it the wrong name the whole time. This, <laughs> I believe, is the Linden. Okay, so interestingly, there is some fuzzies on the bottom of this hat. I mean, these were in plastic, so I'm not really sure why. One thing I will say, I don't think any of these come with the hat band. So before I do a try on, I will probably add hat bands to all of these because I really do think that affects how it looks. And okay, this is really interesting. I'm gonna look back at the Dahlia after I try this one on, but this, hmm. I don't know if you all will be able to see this, but this is not symmetrical. Um, I can't really tell from the top, but from here, and it could just be the way, no, it's, okay, I'm going to try it on. I need to stop, I need to stop complaining. This one definitely feels like it fits better. It's not as tight from front to back, but it like sits on my head properly. There's still definitely, I can still stick my fingers in the sides. Um, this one was definitely my top pick. This one, the brown color, I would say looks a lot more like cocoa. So this one's cinnamon, this one's cocoa. Um, so that one's a little bit, a lot more of a yellowish brown. Um, let me try it on again. This one, yeah, this one definitely doesn't feel quite as tight as the Dahlia boater. Um, but it is, yeah, that is really interesting. And it could just be that this is off center. Um, hmm. Yeah, something about this is just really crooked to me. And I don't know if it's just that the hat band is sewn off center, but even if I hold, let me see, if I hide that, does it look, it still looks a little wonky to me. Like it looks like, this is what I'll say. This side looks like it curves out wider than this side. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. This hat is a little bit of a wild card because the style to me feels a lot more Southwestern. Um, so we have the Rue Open Crown. Okay. This one, I think... I don't want to put in these other two I was putting in till it touched the top of my head. And I don't think I want to do that with this one. I think I want to just set it till it's snug. And I will say, I will not be wearing my hats like this. I'm sorry. I can't, <laughs> I can't. Other people do it. It looks so cool. I just, I cannot. Um, okay. So this one again, feels good. It feels good in the fit front to back. Again, I can, I can stick my fingers in the size, but definitely not as much as the others. Um, so some of that will change with time. If I, here's the thing, here's the thing. If I steamed this hat um, and shaped it a little bit, it would be too big on me because of this. Because like it, because it has these gaps on the side, if I would just actually make this fit me right, it would sink quite a bit lower. So that is something to keep in mind. So it could be like even over time, if I wear it um, and my head is hot um, and sweaty as heads, as heads do, uh, something to think about. Okay. So, what do we think? Okay, 
Let me look at this one closer. I didn't really look at this one at all. This one is like a very lovely olive green. Um, oh, interesting. I didn't really look at the brim super closely. I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but there is, this is not super straight. There's like a pretty clear mark there. Um, I really love the color of this. There's like little, you know, there's little things like there's like some threads. Um, I think this might be the only one. This is obviously this is the only one that came with its own hat band. Um, and it has these cool little three stitches here to add just like a unique detail. I really like the way that this one looks. I'll be so curious to see what these look like because obviously I'm not looking at myself in a mirror with these. Um, so those are my three hats. Let me show you the wild card. So in order for this to feel like a good comparison, I wanted to see if I could buy a cheap hat on eBay that would be of similar quality, but that just is maybe a little bit more beat up and see if I could get it to look like these. Um, so I got this hat on eBay. Um, the brand is Gunslinger. It does not have a lining, which all of these do have a lining, which is pretty impressive, honestly, for this price point, I think. Um, and as you can see, it's pretty bad. Um, I uh, put it in a bag in the freezer for like a week um, to kill off anything that might be in it. I also swab the inside with alcohol. So hopefully there's no gross things. Um, this is what it looks like on me. And it is, so it's a true hat size. It is six and seven, seven eighths, which is my true hat size. Um, and so it is a little bit snug. Um, so it definitely, like the top isn't hitting the top of my head, but that's okay. Um, if I really shove it down on, it feels pretty tight. How's this look with no help? Obviously I'm gonna clean this hat up. This is my thinking, even if I like these hats more and I decide I don't wanna keep this hat, I can clean it up, reshape it, and then <laughs> resell it for more. Um, it definitely has a lot of dust. I don't know if you'll even be able to see, but it has a lot of dust on the crown. Um, things like that. Obviously the, the, it's very like bendy out of shape. I feel like, should look and see. The, I mean, these hats are definitely a thicker material um, than this hat. This hat feels a little bit cheaper. Um, and I would, yeah, I don't know if I reshape it, how stiff it'll feel, if it'll feel as stiff as these. Like these feel very stiff, which I'm actually pretty impressed by. Um, so that's my initial impressions with the hats. Um, I think next we're going to go to a little fashion show to see how these hats will look with a variety of different clothing styles. I have this style on, this is like my basic jeans, a very you know neutral t-shirt, some kind of over shirt that's probably green. And, um, but we're gonna try all of these on with a variety of different outfits and looks so that we can just see, do any of these hats, you know, cover a multitude of situations, which is what I want.
Hello. So this was so much harder than I thought to make a decision. I actually still haven't made one, really. I know what I want to do. <laughs> uh, I'll just talk through it, it's fine. Um, I know what I want to do, but I don't know if I'm going to do that. But I've had the hats for maybe like two weeks now, so I really need to get to shipping them back, the ones that I don't want, or all of them, I can't decide. But for now, um, here's what we have for the final result for this, for my eBay hat. I have tried, I tried and tried and tried to get this brim straight. And instead it has this like swoop and I just can't get rid of it. And I hate it because of that. Um, I just think it looks very Indiana Jonesy, I think. Um, I did add the fedora pinch in the front because I felt like that did look a little bit better, but it didn't necessarily help with the Indiana Jones problem. Um, I added this feather and a raw silk hat band. Um, so I, at this point, I'm not super mad about it. I also today, especially, I did a lot of work to get it to fit my head because before it was sitting kind of up high and now it is actually like sitting down on my head. So that helps. So I'm definitely gonna keep this at least for a little while. I would like it a lot more if I could get the brim to just be straight, but I can't. It's so swoopy. Um, <laughs> my uh, fashion advisors, uh, who are mainly uh, at this point my husband and my best friend, they're the ones I got the opinions from the most. And they both really like this hat and think it looks the best. And I just like, I just don't see it. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I just, I don't know. I just don't like it. However, um, because of that, I almost might wear it more for like cooking by a fire and things like that because then I'm like, oh, well, if it smells bad or if it gets messed up or dirty, then I don't care, you know? Um... So anyways, that's where we are. So this hat, we're gonna keep it for a little while and I'm just gonna, we're gonna acknowledge once that my hair is probably gonna look really gross um, and then we're not gonna bring it up again. So a um, couple things about this hat. For one thing, the hat band itself is not leather. So if I wanted to upgrade the quality of it, I could put a new sweatband in. I said hat band, sweatband is what I meant. Um, so I would guess that this maybe brand new was like, I should just look and see if I can find out how much this brand would have cost. But if I was guessing, I would say it was maybe 80 bucks brand new, if that. Um, like the leather, it's, I mean the leather, the wool itself is not super thick. So I don't think this is just like, wow, some great, fantastic deal. It's not like a vintage Stetson or something that I found and brought back to life. But it's not bad. It's better than an Amazon hat for sure. Um, although who knows, maybe, maybe it is an Amazon hat. Um, but anyway, so I think I'm, I don't hate it. See, this is what the other thing that does. It flips like that. So anyways, that's the eBay hat. I would say all in all a success. I think it's worth what I paid for it. I think I can get that out of it if I want to sell it again. Okay. And then the hat that I really want to keep is this one. I... I just love it. Okay. I love it. I like it a lot. I like the color and I, um, I don't know if I'll show a clip of my closet or not, but my closet is mostly greens, mostly shades of green, similar to this one. Um, and so the question is like, will it clash with my greens or will it go with, I'm leaning towards going with, um, in the like side by side comparison, I was just like the brown hats to me just really seem to stand out more and like almost like because they were different color than my outfit like it drew more attention to that rather than feeling like it was all together if that makes sense and I just feel like green goes with so many things I feel like I can put this hat on and feel pretty confident going out for some reason more so than any of these other hats like this hat makes me feel like I don't understand fashion and I'm wearing an Indiana Jones copycat hat. Like, <laughs> but but the, the ironic thing is, is that like this hat might actually say that to more people than the fedora. Um, 
I just, I really like it. Will I keep it? I don't know. Cause then, then it comes down to the question of like in the moment when it's time to go out, when it's time to go wherever it is I'm going, or even around here, will I put this hat on and wear it? And I think for a time I will have to, I will have to make a practice. Like I will have to push myself to do it because it's still, it's still a hat and it's still a little bit outside my comfort zone. Um, so like if I go out for coffee later this week, will I wear this or will I at the last minute be like, no, you know what? I just, I'll just wear, I'll just wear a normal hat or I'll just wear, you know, a scarf or whatever, you know? That's what I'm afraid of. That's why, that's why I wanted to make this whole video. It's because that's my question is like, one, like what is the quality of these? Does the quality match the cost? Which I'll talk about a little bit more, I think. Um, and then two, then the other part of that is like, will I wear it often enough to justify buying it? Um, and I think this hat I feel the most confident in. I don't know why. I don't know why. But anyways... That's where we are with the Rue Open Crown. Um, if the Linden, um, which is the last one we'll look at, if that one came in a green, I would, I would get that instead, actually, because I feel like the Linden is a little bit more of a toned down style. Like, I still feel like the Open Crown style really makes a statement. <laughs> And honestly, I'm going to be honest with you, the place that I am the most uncomfortable thinking about wearing this hat is like in the country to country events, like to the county fair, places like that. Like those are the places that I'm going to be like, I just don't know if I'll be able to do it because um, <laughs> I feel like I will feel really conspicuous, um, but I could be wrong about that. Anyways. Um, okay, so the Dahlia, as you can see, I already have it in its plastic. I don't really have a lot to say, so I'm gonna leave it in its plastic for now so it just stays clean. Um, I really like this one. I will say it's pretty yellow. Like on the, I don't think it's quite as yellow as it looks like to me on the website, but it is very, very like yellowy brown. Um, almost like a taupe. Is that how you say that? Um, the reason that I, this was my least favorite. I still really liked it. I thought it was really cute. I think the color was a big one for me. And then just the style feels a little bit more, um, I'm trying to think what the word, like, I, I don't even know how to describe it. For some reason, it reminds me of hats that like a guy would wear in Pollyanna. Um, I need to look it up. If I can find a photo of a hat that like what it reminds me of, I'll try to put that up on the screen. But so it was my least favorite I, it still was really cute. If I would find like a Dahlia used somewhere, I would probably get it. Like I would maybe be willing to try it in like a black or something. Um, if I could found it cheap somewhere where it wasn't full price, but since I'm only paying for one, <laughs> I'm, I'm not even paying for these full price anyways, cause they were on sale. But anyhow, um, <laughs> I had to cut because I had this most insane something in my throat, probably residual something from lunch. Oh my goodness. So if my eyes look watery, that's why. Um, one thing I do think is funny that they have these three gold dots on one side, but not the other. Not sure about that. But anyways, this one. I think even if I had decided to keep this one, I would be sending it back for a different one because um, I don't know if you can see, but the brim is very wavy. Um, this is also the one where the... Um, the shaping of it looks just a little bit wonky on the on the inside, which I don't know if I said either that these all have fabric hat bands. They don't have a leather hat band, which I might look and see what the difference is of like how that, you know, acts on your skin if one is better than the other. It would make sense to me that like uh, a fabric hat band could be more wicking than a leather one. Like I really don't want to just get acne on my forehead. I used to have acne on my forehead all the time from wearing hats. Um, so, you know, if I can avoid that, that'd be great. But anyways, this one, I just felt like this was the most expensive hat out of all of them. And just the waviness of the brim just kind of bugged me. So I was like, okay, you're selling a stiff flat brim hat and it comes wavy. That like, I don't know. I just think that maybe this hat should have been checked over a little bit more carefully. Um, so 
there's that. I don't know if other people have experienced anything similar. It could have been the order in the which the hats were stacked. I think it was the rue on the bottom from the video. I think it was the green one on the bottom, this one in the middle, and then the dahlia on top. So I don't know if that had something to do with it, but like it should have been able to withstand shipment because like it should have been like suspended and it should have been able to withstand shipment fine. Like it wasn't like flopping around a shipment. So that kind of means that they sent it this way. So yeah, I'm just not really sure about that and like why. Um, feels like a quality check kind of thing. Um, so anyway, so that's why I'm sending the linden back. Um, if it if it was in pristine, perfect condition, I maybe would choose it over over the rue. Um, but just especially because of that. And then the fact that I'm just really hesitant about the brown color. I think that one comes in three colors and none of them are green. So I don't know. Am I, am I crazy? Am I crazy for wanting to keep this one? And I will say, um, in the comparison videos, I had my hair pulled back because I was like, I think all these hats are going to look really good if I have my hair like this, but I'm not always going to have my hair down like this. Like there are going to be times when it's like definitely more practical to have my hair pulled back. And so I really did want to see what my face looks like with that as well, especially with these two that are more rounded, like on the sides with the sides, don't touch the sides, you know, of my head as much like my hair kind of fills that out. Um, that was the other thing with both of these two shapes. It really broadened my face. And I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Like, does it look better if my face looks even broader? But it felt like it made my face broader and then like more broader and shorter, which I, listen, I need anything possible to elongate me. <laughs> the, the more long and slender I appear, the better. Okay. So so yeah, for those reasons, I think I'm going to go with this one. I might do a little bit more thinking about it and trying to decide, does this have a place in my wardrobe? Will I actually wear it? I think I will because I think I like it enough. Um, my best friend said that she feels like this color is very similar to other colors that I wear in my, in my wardrobe. Um, so her concern is that almost that because it's similar but not the exact same that it could clash I believe that's what she was saying. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, so there is that concern, but then at the same time, like I held it up against everything in my wardrobe and I think it goes with pretty much everything. There's a couple of greens that it doesn't go with, but I think it'll be fine. So anyways, basically in summary, I think that Gigi Pip hats are pretty good quality. I'm I'm genuinely very impressed with the quality aside from the weird linden thing, which I bet that they would have, you know, sent me a new one without, you know, question. But I mean, I don't have experience with their customer service, so I could be wrong. But anyways, I yeah, I'm impressed with how sturdy they feel. I will be curious to see how long they hold up, like how well the brim stays straight and things like that. Um, how well they hold up against like being in the sun and fading and things like that. So with proper care, will they last a long time? That would be my next question. But for wh where they were priced, like I was pretty impressed. I was a little bit worried that, um, I don't know, like I see other clothing boutiques selling felt hats, but a lot of times they're like one size or they're not sized. Like they have very limited sizing, even more limited than Gigi Pips. Um, or, you know, Target, Urban Outfitters, like all these places do have hats, but so I was a little bit worried that they were charging a higher price point for a similar quality, if that makes sense. And then because like, because, and then we were fine with it because of the brand, you know what I mean? Where you're like, oh, well, it's a Gigi Pip. It, even if you've never had a Gigi Pip hat before and held it in your hands and see how good quality it is, you're going to just assume because they've branded themselves so well. Like those are questions that I have, like, is this company actually this good or have they just done a really good job building trust with us? And so we believe that they're good. And I think in my limited hat experience, I think that they're pre priced reasonably well, especially if you can get it on a sale like I was able to. Um, so I think that's all I have to say. Thank you so much for watching. If this has made you decide to get a Gigi Pip hat, let me know in the comments below, or maybe it's done the opposite and you've realized that maybe you've been pining for one for a long time and then you <laughs> seeing me wear them, you're like, nope, not for me, not for me. Um, but they do have so many different styles. I think they probably have a hat for everyone. Um, 
Is this hat actually for me? I don't know, but I like it. Okay. I do. I don't know why I like it. I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you. Um, so is this the complete wrong hat for me? That's all. <laughs> Please don't say that in the comments. I don't, I don't know if I can handle it, but, um, well, actually, if you say it's the wrong hat for me, then I'll probably feel more like defensive of it and then I'll like it even more. So anyways, thank you for watching. Okay. Editing Melody here with a two things that one thing that I discovered and one thing that I forgot to say, I don't know how it's possible that I forgot to say something in 30 minutes of talking, but first of all, if you do decide to buy from Gigi Pip, I would recommend getting the in like when, when you look at your shopping cart, they have the option to pay a little bit extra for free shipping and returns. And if you don't get that, um, and you return a hat, you, I think the return shipping is taken out of your refund total and you pay an $8 restocking fee per hat. Um, so if you are pretty sure that you're going to be sending something back either to return or exchange, I would highly recommend getting that because it wasn't super clear on the website whether or not using their, I think it was called redo. I'm pretty sure. Um, using that, it wasn't super clear if that actually like covered the restocking fee as well. Um, but I asked their customer service and they said it did. So for like the three hats, I think it was just like $6. And so that just made way more sense to pay just $6 for the return shipping and for the hats. Otherwise, it, you know, it could have been, let's say, 10 bucks for the return shipping and then $16 for the two hats that I returned. Um, so highly recommend using that. Um, and then something I figured out that I feel a little bit dumb about, and I'm sure that it says this on the website somewhere, but there, to be clear, I don't think there was no documentation with the hats that really, that said this about the sizing, but inside the fabric hat band, and I don't even know how I noticed this, there is a little, actually should make sure and see where it said it now. There's like a little, there's a piece of Velcro and there's this ribbon here, and hopefully you'll actually be able to see this. There's this ribbon and you can adjust the size of the hat by putting that ribbon at a different spot. Um, which is really cool. Cause even just wearing this hat a little bit, I did wear it out in public once already. So yay me. Um, so wearing it just once even, I felt like it was starting to get a little bit loose. And so I could just adjust that just to, like, and it just like a minuscule amount and it made it fit my head perfectly. And, and so I feel like there's a lot of adjustment in it. So I think my recommendation would be that like, if you, um, aren't sure about sizing, it'd probably be better to size up because it feels like there's a lot of, you know, room for making the hat fit better. And you could always put like a little something, you know, inside the hat band as well to make it fit better. So I think it's always better to size just a little bit up. I don't know if you've ever worn a hat that's too tight, but it does not feel good on your head. So those are my final thoughts. Thank you. <laughs> If I'll keep this bit in, but I think it would be a little funny to go through the hats I have and why they're not good enough. First of all, cowboy hat. I'm not a cowboy anymore. Not really a part of that lifestyle. Was I ever? No, but I wanted to be. Floppy hat? Too floppy. Annoys me. Always in my face. I kind of like it, but it's too big. And so sometimes I'll wear this like to garden or something. But the tall crown really just makes me feel like a sharecropper in the 1940s. So not acceptable. Uh, this is an Amazon hat with my own hat band. Well, the, this is not, but I have added a feather. Um, this used to be on my cowboy hat. So um, too big, uh, you know, it's like a $10 or whatever. So I don't know what this material is. Um, too big in the whole, like it has like an adjustable hat band thing, but that just, never really worked. It says it's 65% polyester, 35% wool. Hmm. I don't like the, this, I don't like the fact that if you put it on, it can do that. Um, why am I keeping these hats? Well, some of them I keep for costume purposes for, you know, other people, if I'm taking photos of them, this is a hat that I got last summer that honestly looks pretty cool. I reshaped it to have a flat brim and to have this, like this crown. Um, 
you can see. Uh, it's for sale. Let me know if you want to buy it. After I shaped it, it, it's too small. So unless I just set it on my head like this, or I guess I could maybe wear it like this. Do I look cool now? I mean, so very tragic. I would like to sell this to someone who would like to have it. So if your head's smaller than mine, hit me up. Um, this was a floppy hat that I decided to turn into a tricorn because why not? I could never figure out how to style those floppy hats and I needed a tricorn. So here we are. Um, this is a little uh, boy's hat. It's not that I stole it from a little boy. I mean that like this was in the general store um, with the Amish hats, no joke, um, as a little boy's hat. And I shortened the crown so that it would be a lady's hat. Added a ribbon. Lovely. Costume. Basically, all of these hats are costume hats. And then we have the hats I actually wear. Um, well, some of these I actually wear. Um, this is just like quick, I'm doing yard work, you know? This is like, I need to be casual, but feminine at the same time. Um, and then the rest of these are basically the same. This is just a simple black ball cap. Perfect, goes with many things, right? And then these are my like country hats, okay? Cause I do live in the country. And so I wear these if I'm going hiking or fishing or doing yard work. Okay, great. Do you get the gist?